What's going on guys? Shane here with my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu coach and Checkmat Black Belt, Thiago Rodriguez. Hey guys. Thiago is very thorough, very detailed with his instruction, and today he's going to be talking about 10 common grappling mistakes that you must avoid. Now these are mistakes that not only beginners make, but also blue belts and purple belts, right? For sure, yes. Yeah, so uh, we're going to take a look at these. I know number 10 is one that I have a lot of problems with, so make sure you're avoiding these top 10 mistakes. The first mistake is not using active toes, and I'm going to explain to you guys why it's important. Okay, so imagine you're playing on top, and my partner is playing on bottom. Simple situation when he has a sitting guard, okay? He has a cross collar and he's gonna just try to come on top of me, okay? So when I have it, as soon as he push, my first reaction is just stand up and I'm ready to attack. But if you have your foot flat on the mat, okay? And I'm just here, as soon as he push first, you can hurt your foot, right? Because you're gonna flip over or you need to have one reaction then try to stand up. If your partner is too fast, it's not gonna be enough and he's gonna succeed to go on top. So it's really important you have active toes. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable to get used to, but it's really important to have fast reaction to move to one side or for the other or to stand up. The second common mistake, okay, is not understanding about the importance of underhooks, okay, bottom and top. So this basic situation that you're gonna play with underhooks is half guard, okay? So, of course, underhook is under my opponent's arm. And this is the same for him. You're gonna try to have his arm under my arm, okay? So, sometimes mistakes for the guy on top, okay, is don't give the importance and try sometimes hug the back, head, and still try to reach side control or mount. So, would be side control right but the problem is as soon as he have the underhook he's gonna reach my back people still try to pass and you're gonna end up in a bad position okay so it's really important you don't try to pass when he has the underhook okay so if my partner reach the underhook or i reach first but is still not able to put his back on the mat he swing his arm and go back is stop right here create some space and fight again and my partner in the bottom will try to do the same to someone win the war. So right now, I'm gonna underhook and I'm gonna be able to put his back on the mat. So for now, I can start to attack, okay? A simple move is would be bring my knee up and I'm gonna be to the mount, but I still have the underhook, okay? For my partner on bottom, it's really important he understand that, never be flat. As soon as he get the underhook, he can start to attack. He doesn't need to wait for my move, so he can start do a basic move coming to my back, okay, bump, and reach my back on top. Or simple move, he's here, he just take me down. He grab my legs and drive me forward. Oh, and take me down, okay? Second position that is really common, you need to understand, is more for the guy on top, okay? Is you have side control, chest with chest, hug the head, under the arm. People sometimes like to have over the arm and make the lock is not effective because now he's gonna do the same move. He's gonna make a small hip skate and bump and gonna take my back or again, take me down. Okay, so let's start to pay attention top and bottom when your teacher tell you to underhook, to know what to do, what is the underhook. The third common mistake is how to posture yourself on side control, how to put your weight on your partner, okay? Side control is when you have chest with your chest, hug his head, under hook the arm, okay? So usually you can make a lock, you can lock your elbow on, your, on his hip, okay? You can grab the gi, you can make a lock with your hands. It's really important you put shoulder pressure on his face, make him look to the opposite side. The common mistake is sometimes you just don't reach chest with chest, you drive yourself forward, okay? Can cause escape from here, a wrong mistake. Usually the regular um, escape from side control is my partner gonna cross his hand over my head and gonna start to push me in hip escape, try to recover his guard or try to go to my leg. So the wrong positioning but it still works sometimes when you get a guy that is really strong not necessarily good about his technique okay is when you drive yourself forward they are hugging you no matter if they're gonna grab the bell the gi hug your head 
The other hand, he sometimes he hug myself, he grab my gi, no matter what he likes to do. He basically gonna use my weight and gonna bump and he gonna end up in a good spot. So it's all about his weight. So when Shane has a good posture, my wrong technique will not work because as soon as I try to go flip him, it's not gonna work because he has chest with chest. If he drive himself forward, okay, I gonna be easy target for me to do my wrong technique. Just remember guys, this technique about the flip is a wrong move, but it still work because my positioning. So remember, pay attention how you're gonna posture yourself on side control to have a good control and move forward on that position, okay? Common mistake number four, okay, is how to posture yourself on top, how to base yourself, hands, legs, pose yourself on the mat, okay? So we're gonna start again on side control, okay? Really common, my partner gonna try to flip me again, but now he gonna wait for the perfect moment. The perfect moment usually is when I try to bring my leg, okay, to try reach the mount position, so I'm gonna start to slide up, he feel my weight lie, and he gonna flip me and then he end up in a good position again. So to avoid that situation, guys, it's really simple. We need to remember I have hands on the mat, I have knees, toes, and I have my hand, okay? All points of base. So you need to understand if he's not grabbing my hand, I can use my hand on the mat, okay? Sometimes what is common is I wanna grab so tight that I forget then my hand is free. So it's just post, okay? You're not gonna lose anything because people sometimes get scared to lose the side of control and then they flip, okay? It's most important is keep it here. If you keep it here, you're gonna have another chance to attack. So you can lock, you can grab the gi, do whatever you, you want with your hands. So you start to go to the mount. My partner, go, open your hands. Use your weight on him, go back, okay or then for here you're gonna have another chance to mount but make sure you open your hand on the mat okay it's really important don't keep your hands locked okay he's not trapping so one more time as soon as you go he does use your hand on the mat block him keep the pressure okay a second variation okay really common is when I'm in close guard okay and no matter how you decided to stand up I'm gonna stand up really quick. So I'm gonna just grab on his belt and one, two, and you start to open his guard. He gonna just open the legs and try to come. The guy forget about his hands free again and my opponent come on top without a fight back. So right now we're gonna try show what you should do in that situation. So you decided to stand up to open his guard. One, two, and you stand up and he start to attack me, okay? Remember guys, you have your hands, so fight back. Push him, do a move with your legs. We call this move technical stand up, and you're on top again. You're not in the close guard, you're not attacking, but you are still can fight to be on top. So pay attention to use what you have, your tools. Okay, hands, head, knees, and toes. This is the fifth common mistake, okay? is when you're in a bad spot, like me right now, he's in mount position, okay, legs over my body. Sometimes seeing the guy is already bad, okay? Some guys have phobia here. You need to keep it calm to try to escape. A really basic escape, you're gonna try to grab his arm and you're gonna bump for the side he doesn't have an arm anymore to pose. This side, he has the arm free, so if I bump over there, it's not gonna work. But as soon as I grab his arm here and lock, I just gonna make a bridge and I'm gonna be able to escape and we're gonna end up in the close guard, okay? It's really common when you're a beginner, you forget and you just wanna escape so hard that you start to push your partner no matter how and with no arms. So he still keep attacking you using his legs as a balance and hands keep attacking you. So it's even worse when you see someone not being able to escape from the mouth, they start to turn, 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 turn their back. Now, you don't even see what is coming, what your partner is thinking, what he's trying. So right now, sometimes, this position we call spread the chicken, when he spread my body on the 
mat, okay? And it starts to feel uncomfortable in my lower back and it's easy for him to make me try put my head up and it's easy, it's easy to reach the choke, okay? So make sure, guys, when you are in a mount position, you try to escape from here. Don't turn your back, okay? Make sure you stay here. Try to do a proper technique to escape. The sixth common mistake, okay, was when you apply an arm bar from the guard and you step over your opponent's face, you cross your feet, okay? So we're gonna start to apply an arm bar, bring his arm, break his posture, step on the hip, bump a little bit, step over. So here is our fight. I'm trying to straight up, as you guys see, I'm gonna try to straight up his arm, making him tap, okay? Feel pain on his elbow. So I wanna straight up all the way I can. So I'm gonna try to put pressure on his head, okay, with my ankle trying to touch the mat, and I'm gonna bridge it up, making a bridge, of course, bring his arm down. So the common mistake here is I need to keep him down because if he shrink me, he bend my body, he gonna bend his arm and I'm not gonna be able to make him tap. So remember, this ankle is down. Sometimes people come here and cross. They think they are stronger here. But I can do my whole power of chain I'm doing right now. He's still shrinking me. And slowly he gonna be able to remove his arm or I gonna get really tired to keep my position here. So I need to close guard again and try everything again. So one more time, what is the right position is bring your partner here, here, step over. That's the common mistake. So remember guys, keep this leg over the head tight, okay? So I'm gonna keep my whole pressure here and I'm gonna ask my partner Shane to come on top. He can't because now I'm trying to keep his head down. As soon as I don't put pressure, I just chill my leg here or cross, he gonna move. Look, I'm doing my strength here and I can. I can't avoid that. So make sure to uh, put his head down and keep it there. Don't move anymore till you reach your umbar. Okay? Now, the next mistake, guys, the seven comma mistake, is when we are in the opposite situation. Okay? So when Shane, my partner, is applying the umbar. So he's gonna do the same. He's gonna apply the umbar with me. Okay? And bump step over remember like i said here is our fight okay was a mistake letting him reach here but since he reached this position i still have a chance the common mistake guys is to try be think that you're stronger than your opponent okay and don't use the right technique so usually a common mistake is the person start to stand up thinking they're gonna be able to remove the arm Look his body, he's ready to do a good bridge. So people start to bounce your body and he's gonna make me tap. I call this position a joke. The guy tried to think he's a hook because he's trying to stand up, basically lifting the partner. Sometimes it can work when you're really, really strong. But remember, the goal of Jiu Jitsu is use the technique, not your strength, okay? So the proper technique here is as soon as he applied the umbar, like we said, He's trying to straight up my body. So you need to try to do the opposite. You need to try to shrink, bend your body. So I'm gonna try to shrink my opponent. So I'm gonna start to put my knee, okay? Close to his head, my foot on the mat, and I'm gonna make sure I bend him, okay? And I keep the pressure. So now I come with my hand behind his knee, Keep his head down. Remember, because he's putting pressure on me. So we need to avoid that kill. As soon as you feel the right moment, you start to remove your arm. Now I can bring his hip down and reach a good positioning, reaching side control. The eighth common mistake, okay, is when you're on top. Okay, my opponent Shane is on top, on the guard, close guard. Close guard is when you cross your legs over his body. And people sometimes don't know really well what to do here. They think that it's right to hug, try a submission. Guys, remember, I have total control because I have my legs. So I have both arms, both legs to work. Shane just have two hands. So as soon as he starts to hug me, he starts to expose himself. So just 
for this position here, we're gonna do a basic move to show you. I'm gonna hug him too, and I'm gonna lock his arm. I'm gonna push his head a little bit, step on the mat, hip escape. I'm gonna slide a little bit, step on the hip, lock my knee on his shoulder, hug myself, okay? And I'm gonna make him tap in an elbow lock again, in a straight arm bar, okay? Second mistake, instead to hug me, he decided to try to attack me. Guys, it's no attack when you are inside. He decided to do a famous Americana and he's trying hard, you know? I'm just gonna hug his back because now he exposed the biggest part of his body. You can grab in the belt and as soon as he's trying, he keep trying. I bring him to me oh, and I'm gonna have his back. Now I'm gonna start to attack, choke and Shane is in a bad spot. Okay, so the right way to you be here to posture yourself, like we talked in the first mistake, is first, Shane needs to have active toes, okay? And don't try to approach. He needs to have a good posture because he knows I can try go on top. He tried to keep my back on the mat and he's gonna try to open my legs. Can be Disney, we can try, he can try open Disney, okay? Step over my leg and start to get in a good positioning, okay? So make sure, guys, you don't approach your opponent, okay? Don't expose yourself. Even if you're nervous or something, Shane, when he is a little bit tired, he lock his elbow on the mat here and stay low, but he doesn't hug, okay? He doesn't approach me. Here, you see, I don't do much. He's not gonna stay here for long, but it's just like five seconds he's a little tired, he can stay here and then he's gonna posture up again to try fight to escape from this position. This is the nine common mistake, okay? It's about being defensive, learn how to survive when you're on the training, okay? I'm gonna focus a little bit on bottom because it's really common when you're a beginner, okay? You don't like to play on bottom. It's really natural for us to try to be on top. You know, when you're a baby, you don't learn how to be in this position. What you're trying to learn is crawl and start to stand up. Okay, so for us as adults, it's the same. So in Jiu Jitsu, you need to start to feel comfortable playing with your back, okay? So your goal when you're on bottom is try to make your partner tap. The basic position is the on bar, as we saw, and I make him tap. Or if I'm not able to make him tap, I'm gonna try to be on top, flip him over. So I'm gonna try attack a Kimura, hit the fence, I just come, flip him, and reach top position from here I'm gonna try attack it again okay when I see a partner doing that I see that he knows a little bit what he's doing sometimes what I see in the beginner is he's gonna try to do a technical stand-up he getting panic here even you know when you're in the close guard on bottom you have a good position so here here I'm gonna start to push push and I'm gonna try to stand up but I open a space for my partner to jump over my leg. Oh, he reached half guard. Now I'm not trapping both legs. I'm just trying to trap one. He put my back flat on the mat, hug my head, uncomfortable position. From here, he starts to work side control or mount. Okay, so it's not really good positioning since you're in panic. Okay, second option is you are already in half. Okay, so you're playing here and you get in panic again. So what you're gonna try to do is, you're gonna try to do the same move. Oh, you're gonna push, bring your leg again, and you're gonna try to stand up. He's gonna be faster than you again, jump over my legs, put my back flat, hug, do exactly the same, but now he already crossed my legs. He has even a better control, better positioning, okay? You can be succeed, okay, with the technical stand up, so you can be faster than your opponent, and stand up, boom. But this is not your goal, okay? Your goal is, one more time, is to try make him tap, okay? Or flip him over. Since you pull guard or your opponent sweep him, you need to try to improve here. Stand up is not the way to improve, to try to do crazy moves here, okay? And just rotate to his back. It's really important you try to improve your movements, okay? That's the goal. So it's really important you try to do drills, okay? specific training about bad spots that you feel uncomfortable okay or your teacher during the class so pay attention on that focus on that okay to try and improve that's the better idea 
okay? And I believe that's the best for yourself to improve in all the aspects of the game, okay? The 10 common mistake, okay? It's about be offensive, have a game plan during the fight, okay? What I mean about that is I pull guard, okay? And like I said, one more time, you need to try sweep, flip him over and go on top or make him tap. But as, as soon as you get here, you think you know what to do, okay? In your mind, you have like 10 positions to apply. But you get here, maybe you get nervous or you get confused because you didn't drill enough and you don't know. So remember, you have the basic armbar. Boom. You have a Kimura. Boom. You have a choke. You have a Kimura when you go on top and you flip your partner. Okay, but when you get here, you forget what to do because you know a lot, but at the same time, you don't know nothing. So you start to go for the Kimura, your opponent defend, you forget about the sweep. And what do you do from here? And you lay down. You start a little bit on bar, but where I go? So it's really important, guys, you have a game plan, okay? My advice for you is start to have one strong position. For example, as soon as I pull guard, I know you know all the positions. But start to have one strong position. When Shane gets here, he will be scared of your umbar. So he knows this position, I'm really good. Maybe later on, I of course, I'm gonna improve my game, gonna be able to do more. But I need to learn at least one strong position to know what to do here. Because if I pull guard or I end up here, I need to know what I'm gonna do. The same, for example, I get in the side control on top. I pass his guard. And you know how to choke, you know how to go to the mount, but like, what do you do? And you end up here, you're scared of losing the position because you're not confident to apply your positions, and you end up here. So you can stall the fight here like 10 minutes and stay here with Shane. So in some point, he's gonna be able to escape and you're gonna be frustrated you did nothing, okay? So if you're here, you know how to apply a basic Americana. You apply Americana, be strong on this position and make your partner tap, okay? Or be strong, make your lock, cross your knee over the belly, you're gonna mount, okay? Like I said, slowly you're gonna improve your game, okay? And you're gonna have more options, but you need to drill, Okay, you need to keep practicing till you get a strong one, your plan A, to learn how to reach the plan B. Okay, guys? So pay attention on that. Keep in mind, strong sweep, strong submission, okay? A strong pass guard, and you'll be able slowly to improve your game and crush everyone on the training. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this answers any questions that you have. Remember that when you are rolling, I know you wanna win, but you have to pace yourself. That's one of the most important things because if you get tired early, you're gonna start making more of these mistakes. Guys, please check out Tiago's Instagram. Link's in the description below. Definitely support him and give him a follow on there. Until then, I'm Shane. I'm Tiago. Fight tips for the underdogs.